Hey Libra, it's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. I'm here today to bring you your June 1st through 15th, 2017 general reading. So Libra, in case you're new to my channel and you haven't seen um, my previous upload, which is just the second time I'm actually doing this, I'm doing them bi-weekly right now, um, I do a nine card spread, which is going to be your recent past your present, and your current future. I also clarify with an overview card, and I clarify with a couple of cards from the uh, Dorian Virtue Romance Angel Oracle deck, um, just to get some insight on your love life. And then a couple cards also, this uh, this reading, I'm using the Saints and Angels uh, spread also by Dorian Virtue to get a little bit more clarity on what's going on in your life. Um, one more thing, Libra, just in case you're interested, I am doing personal readings right now, um, booking up, but they're, you know, I've still got, you know, time available to do them for you relatively quickly. Normally within a 48 hour turnaround time, I can do them either uh, via email where I write up a comprehensive, um, you know, a storyline on the cards that I read, or I can do a private YouTube video, whatever you prefer. Um, those are $25 and the information is down below. My email address is trustandtruthtarot at gmail.com. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. So in your recent past, I've got the Ace of Swords, I have the Ace of Cups, and I have the Three of Swords. All right, guys. Okay, Libra. Um, so I think last time we actually talked about your, your heartache um, and what was happening there. Uh, you guys were dealing with some major bullshit, uh, some drama and stuff that was really hurting you. And... Um, I feel like in the past few weeks, a lot of you guys have had some new beginnings. Now, I've got the Ace of Swords here, which represents a victory. So, um, also represents an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be you, definitely, in this reading. Um, but this is something that you came out on top over. Now, if you had that breakup or you, 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 know, you were feeling very heartbroken about it, you feel, you felt you know, recently, like, yes, I'm, I'm coming out on top, things are going to gonna work out, either that, or you may be, um, because it is an ace, and it represents, represents a new beginning, uh, you maybe had a new beginning with another air sign, another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, something like that, um, next, I've got another ace, guys, lots of new beginnings for you guys, ace of cups, this is the cup of love, um, ace of cups represents to me a new beginning in love, totally new beginning, like, um, a fresh start. It could be, you know, I want to say for a small portion of you, it might have been with a prior, uh, like a person from your past. But for a lot of you, I feel like you maybe met a water sign. Um, and that would be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, and if it's not that, then it is just a new beginning in love. Either that or you're just healing your heart. You know, you're you're taking this, I mean, you've got two aces right next to each other, um, right here in your recent past, and and you're you're like, you know what, I am going to start fresh. you you have that mentality right now. You're just like, you know, you guys Libras are absolutely amazing. I adore you guys so much. My fellow air sign, by the way. Uh, I'm a Gemini, but um you guys are so diplomatic and so um you make very, very good decisions, usually, especially when it comes to love, because you are like the scales of justice. You know, you know what's right, what's wrong, what's good, what's bad, and you guys weigh it out and you measure it and you're you're not judgmental, but you are so uh, good at figuring shit out. And I'm telling you, um, either this is you and your energy that you've decided to just like, you know what? I know what I want, I know what I need, I know what I deserve, I'm going to get that, or maybe there's a new air sign or water sign coming in, you know, something like that. All right, guys, so also in your recent past, and I feel like this, because it's after this new beginning, could be one of two things. Either A, you thought, this is three of swords, three of swords, by the way, heartbreak card for the whole deck. Um indicates that you're, you're hurting. You're hurting. Your heart's still hurting, guys. Why is it still hurting? Um, it makes me sad. <laughs> so what this indicates to me is either you had a new air sign, a Gemini, 
uh, Libra, Aquarius, or new water sign, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that came in and it didn't work out and now you're back to square one or that's what you're feeling like or you were feeling super good, super optimistic about everything. You're like, yes, 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 it's great, it's great. And then all of a sudden, you know, you, you went to lay down in bed one night and your heart just like sank into your chest and you're like, oh my gosh, this is not okay, you know, um, it's, it's that kind of thing. So, you know, that's, it's in your past, guys. You, you've been dealing with it and you have been dealing with this for a long time. Um, you guys have been struggling, you know, unfairly, may I add, because <laughs> you guys don't deserve that. Um, but it's something that's like coming across very strong for you. And I feel, I feel, you know, I feel your pain. It, it's hurting. Um, you, you've been hurting recently and you're, you know, you may be losing a little bit of faith, but you know, just know that you got three people, five people actually coming up in the next six cards, five out of six are people, uh, that are going to be helping you. And you've got some good news coming. Okay. Just, just know that I know it hurts. I know you've been struggling, but you're, you're going to be all right. Okay. All right. So here's your present. All right, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles represents to me um, either an earth sign. It's a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Someone who is extremely kind and generous with their time, their emotions, their money. Um, there's someone that, like, if you are hurting, like right here, and you're like, hey, girl, can we have a drink and just talk for a little bit? And you just, like, unleash the beast on her for two hours. She's going to not only pick up your tab, she's going to give you sound advice and give you the biggest hug and also text you as soon as you get home and then text you the next morning and be like, Hey girl, it's a new day. I got you. You're good. You know, we have each other. It's all good. This is the kind of person that like has your back, but she's also extremely, um, stable. So she's stable financially. She's stable emotionally. She's, she knows where she is and where she's going. Um, it's a very stable a woman. I want to say woman. Could be a male, you know, for some of you, but I feel like in your present, you've got somebody, I mean, I feel like this is like a true friend to you. Somebody you can tell anything to, you know, and, and she, even if she's not grounded herself all the time, because I mean, who really is, you know, she's somebody that, um, when you call her or when you text her and tell her you're having issues, literally the, the light bulb turns on and she's like, I got you. I got you. Okay. And she's helping you out. All right. Next in the middle of your reading, sorry guys, is the magician. You guys know what this means already. This is manifestation. This is magic. You guys, you, my poor Libras, I love you guys to death. And I, I hate to see you guys hurting because it, it hurts me when you hurt. I'm serious. Like I, I hate it. Um, but in the middle of your reading right here, you have the magician, which means, I mean, look at his plate there. He's got swords, he's got rods, he's got cups, he's got pentacles. This is literally every element of life, every element of earth, every person that he needs is right at his disposal. Now, whether or not you actually recognize this, I don't know, but you need to, you need to know that you have people around you that care about you so dang deeply, you know, they do anything for you. It's just like this queen of pentacles. She'll drop the freaking, like whatever she's doing, like it doesn't matter. You know, you text her and like, oh my gosh, you know, something happened or so-and-so hurt me. And she'll be like, I don't give a shit what I had planned tonight. I'm dropping all of it. We're going out for drinks. I'm buying your drinks and I'm going to freaking help you with everything, you know? And she's going to give you the most sound advice. Now, this is the magician here. She's going to tell you or you're going to realize after you have this conversation here in the present that you do have everything that you guys need. I know it's been a struggle. I know it's been hard, guys. It's been so, so hard. You know, it's it's tough. You guys, you were feeling good for like a second and then you were like, shit, this three of swords, you know, freaking, it sucks. It hurts. It, it all came crashing back down. But I'm telling you, it was a temporary blow and, sorry, my camera's going to die in there, um, temporary blow. And this person is going to pull you out of it. It could be personal people, you know. 
All right, next card that you have, guys, is the Knight of Swords. This is a younger air sign. Again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, just like us, could be you. There's drama, 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 okay? I don't feel like it's that serious of drama, but it's definitely drama. And uh, something you're going to have to deal with, but it's coming right after you have this conversation and you have this realization and you, you're... It could be that because of these conversations and these realizations here that you're making a decision that's going to change your life, that that maybe, maybe throw everything up in the air, upside down again, and you don't want to be there again because you were like, oh my gosh, it was just so close. You got heartache, you've got drama right here, and um, I'm sorry guys, it sucks, but you have to know, look, we're getting so close, so close, two aces. Queen of Pentacles, the Magician, like you're getting so, so, so close to what you need. You're getting there, guys. You just have to keep pushing forward, okay? A little bit more drama, a little bit more drama here in the present. Okay, let's go to your future. Three of Wands, motivation. You are so motivated right now because probably this is pissing you off. You know, you're like, no. You know, like, I'm not doing drama. You're a Libra. You don't do drama. Like, you don't. You know, you totally don't. You guys are so diplomatic. So diplomatic. It's ridiculous, you know. You're awesome. And um, I feel like this drama, you probably shut down for a little bit. Like a day. Or like half a day. <laughs> and then you're like, forget it. Forget it. Like, seriously. Or maybe even a split second. You heard enough and you're just like, I'm not doing this anymore. And this could be not only love, but it could be career. You know, there could be someone that's bringing in drama. This could be like a gossip queen or king or just somebody that you work with that's like uber dramatic and it's like, you know, a, just a constant drain on your energy. And you're just like, I got to get motivated. I got to get the F out of here because like I can't deal with this anymore. And you made a decision or you're going to make one very, very soon. If it relates to love, then again, the same thing. It's somebody that's like, Wah, 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 you know, like, and you're like, you are very sympathetic. You get people, you get emotions, you get all of that, right, Libra? You do. I mean, you guys are awesome. But it comes to a point where you go, if you don't want to help yourself, I can't help you, okay? So you're like, I'm three of wands in the F out of here. I'm just going to like bounce because I'm motivated now because you're like, I, I just, I don't deal with it anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. Okay. Next card we have in your near future is going to be the strength card. Guys, oh my gosh, how cool is this? Um, and again, it goes back to everything about you guys. You're super strong. You're super motivated. You're super everything. You just have to get back to that and that's coming. Okay. You've been kicked, you've been knocked down, you've been dragged out, you've been, you know, like set out with the freaking laundry, whatever the heck they used to say. Unfair, very unfair, by the way, because you don't deserve that. And honestly, it's, I mean, it's real bullshit. People kind of tend to gravitate towards Libras because they are so diplomatic and they are so sound of mind most of the time. You know, you guys have your moments. I get it. You know, I totally get it. We all have our moments. But for the most part, you guys are very, very stable and can give the best advice ever. Even if you're hurting, even if you're going through the roughest shit in the world, somebody can come to you and be like, I don't know what to do about the situation or here's my situation. I don't know. Like, I just need advice on how to deal with it. And you guys literally can zone in and be like, okay, well, here's what I would do and blah, blah, blah. And you should do this and you should do that and bing. And it's the best idea ever. So stability, what you're coming back to through all of this craziness and all this crap that's happened in the past, you're getting back to you, back to your own, back to the person that you absolutely are and that the world deserves to see. Because Libra, I mean, what... What are you if you're not the person that the world needs, you know? You can't be that person if you're wrapped up in all this bullshit, you know? You guys have got to, you've got to get your head back on your shoulders and realize how powerful and how amazing you are because you are. You totally are. Um, you guys are so, 
you're just so awesome. And I, I, I feel that energy from you constantly. And I, I just hate, like I said, I hate to see that people are, you know, jerking you around over here, but you guys got sucked into it. Maybe because you felt like it was going to advantage you in some way, maybe because you felt like it was going to be like, well, you know, if I just deal with it, it'll go away. Something like that. But that's not the case. You guys have got to confront this shit head on and make sure that you are getting back to you because irregardless of everybody else's damn problems, you know, that you're dealing with, their drama, all that shit, the shit that you don't even, you didn't do, you didn't bring in, like, you're just trying to help and, like, it, it's ridiculous, you know? Um, stability. Stability is in your near future. Strength. That represents you to me. <laughs> it. I mean, it is. It is, Libra. It is. All right. Last card is going to be the High Priestess. Intuition. I don't have to tell you guys this. I mean, we're air signs, right? We can talk about this shit. I don't have to tell you guys what this means. But I do have to tell you guys, don't forget what this means, right? You're super duper intuitive. You know, you know shit. When you talk to people, the first two sentences they say out of their mouth, you know exactly who the F they are. Don't forget that, okay? Don't forget it. Because once you start forgetting that and start compromising yourself, your morals, your values for other people, whether it be in love or work or whatever the case may be, that's when you get screwed, okay? That is exactly when you get screwed. Because I'm going to tell you guys a little secret, Libra. People out there are not in it for you. They're in it for themselves. And they're going to do what they have to do. You need to use your intuition to say, okay, you know what? I've given you 10, 10, 10 chances, 15 chances. I, I've seen a whole bunch of shit from you. You're not a good person. You're not, you know? And even if... You're trying to pretend like they are because you're so, you're the scales of justice and you're diplomatic and you're trying to like give them the benefit of the doubt and like, okay, well, even if I don't really like them and I probably don't like them, I don't think they're a good person, but, you know, I'm just going to deal with it because I know once I deal with it, something better is going to come along or this will eventually pass. This will all pass. No, guys, look inside yourselves. Because I'm serious right now, your intuition is super duper high. It's going to be very, very high coming into June. You've got to pay attention to that. You guys know, you guys know what the heck, you know, what, what you have to do. You know. Just do it, okay? And don't ignore this. Don't ignore your intuition. All right, guys. Let's pull. Oh, wait. I didn't do your overview card. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Again, abandonment. Is this career, guys? Who is your boss even? Like, what is happening? If it's not career, are you feeling abandoned in love? That's what's crowning your, your reading right now. Why, though? Like, why? I don't, I don't understand because you guys have... Let me show you. You guys have... The world, the magician at your disposal. Now, every single sign. If my Libra friends called me right now in the middle of this reading, do you know what I would do? Pause this video. <laughs> and then I would continue where I left off if they needed me. Because, and, and I think the thing is that you guys don't understand that. You know, you guys don't get it. You're keeping everything inside. You're trying not to you know, put your burdens on someone else, blah, 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 blah. Forget about that, guys. Call your friends. Go hang out with them. Do something nice. Tell the truth. Be honest. Don't be like, hey, everything's awesome. Oh, my God, it's just so great. If it's not, you know, tell the truth. I mean, they're going to understand, and you guys have every single element right there waiting for you that loves you. I mean, they love you. Like, it's not just that they're there they truly care about you okay all right let's pull a couple of the dorian virtue romance oracle angel card okay 
Okay, guys. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Okay, as it relates to your love life, let's talk heart to heart conversations again, guys. It just ties back into what I was just saying about being open and honest with yourself, about being open and honest with others, and not hiding the fact that you are hurting because you don't want other people to hurt. You know, you don't you don't want to burden people. You're like, oh, you know, like. I'm just going to keep this all inside of me because, like, first of all, I don't feel like there's anybody I can tell. Second of all, you know, nobody wants to hear my drama. Screw that, Leah. Uh, Libra, seriously. <laughs> what are you doing? No. Heart-to-heart conversations is literally the way to go, and that's going to be it for you. I mean, you've got to do this. This is so important, okay? This is a huge piece of advice. All right, next one. Trust. Trust, 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 okay? Trust your friends. Trust your family. Trust that the situation is going to work out the way the universe intends it to and that there's nothing that we can, we have decisions we can make every single day. We can make choices. We can alter situations. But you've got to trust that things are going to work out. And Libra, I'm telling you, they're going to work out in your favor, okay? Don't be downhearted. Don't. That's the worst thing you can do. Stop being this three of swords. Cut that shit out. All right? You got the magician here. You have three of wands, motivation. You have freaking the queen of pentacles. Oh, my gosh. You've got the high priestess here. That's you, guys. Seriously. Intuition. Strength. You've got everything. Aces. Aces like crazy. You, you're going to be fine. All right? Trust in it, though. The only thing I can tell you is that, and I'll tell you a personal story about myself real quick. It's probably going to go along this reading, but there was a time when I was down and out, and I, I didn't believe that life was going to be anything, you know? Like, I just felt like the situation I was in was what it was going to be, and that was what I had to accept, and that was it. And one day, I woke up, and I had this moment of clarity, and I was like, holy crap. Everything changed. Everything changed. Literally, my financial situation completely improved. My, my, I mean, my emotional life, my, my, everything, everything, my, my career, oh my gosh, my career, it, it, everything went hand in hand, but I'm telling you, it took me having trust and faith in the situation, believing that that was going to happen, because before I didn't believe it, right? I woke up one morning, I believed it. I believed it. I had a change of heart. You guys have to do that too. I want you to wake up tomorrow. Whenever you're watching this video, wake up tomorrow and know, have faith, trust. The universe is bringing you so many good things. I promise you that. Okay. Let's do a couple cards from the Saints and Angels deck. For you guys. Oh, my Libras. I just, oh. I hate to see you guys hurting because I, I know so many of you in real life and I, I just I just adore you guys. Like you guys are the best. Libras and Geminis are very, very um, compatible together. So I think that hopefully this will resonate with you guys and I hope um you know I hope you can take something away from this because um I want you know I want I want the best for you guys. I know it's coming and, and you guys just have to keep believing in that, okay? All right, here we go. Um, first one we have is don't compromise. Hello. What did I just say? What did I just freaking say, Libra? Don't compromise yourself. Seriously. You, why would you do that? Like, I guess I get it. I get it. You're trying to keep the peace. You're trying to keep justice. You're trying to keep the scales balanced. Whatever the case may be, that's fine. But you are seriously compromising yourself, yourself, your own well-being for that. Don't do that. You guys, stop. You're too freaking awesome for that. I, I can't even. Okay, one more. Oh, 
hey, Libra, who's getting married? <laughs> um, okay, so whoever's getting married, congratulations, by the way. You have a wedding coming up or something like that. Or, okay, so it's a marriage card. We can, we can read it a million different ways. Um, you know, you're either getting married or you are married uh, to someone who... I hope this person is not doing this to you because that would suck. But if they are, then I'm sorry. And that, um, you know, something you need to think about. But, um, or you're going to a wedding, something like that. But I feel like, I feel like Libra, maybe a lot of you with your love life, you're doing okay, you know. Um, but there's marriage, some sort of marriage, wedding, civil ceremony, Whatever the case may be is on the horizon for you guys. Um, and if it's not, if you're a married Libra that you've been married for a while, it's telling me to tell you to pay attention to your marriage. Like, focus on your marriage. Really focus on it. You know, make sure that your partner's very happy. Um, do something nice for them. Even if they haven't done anything nice for you, just, just do it. Because they appreciate it whether you know it or not. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I thank you so, so, so much for watching. Um, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We'd love to have you here. Uh, thank you guys so much again for all of your support, shares, likes, comments, subscribes. You guys are awesome. And uh, I wish you all the best, Libra. I'll see you soon.